Y'all, I already filmed this, but the lighting was uh, wacky, so I just spent the last 15 minutes figuring out where the best lighting was in the room. So yeah, that was fun. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this week we're doing college advice, and I think Emma did on Monday things I wish I knew before I went to college, and basically I'm gonna do something similar, but I'm gonna do what I learned my freshman year. And so I've just gotten them written down on my phone here. So the first piece of advice that I have is go to class. And it seems super, super simple, and I know that it also sounds like something that everyone says, but from personal experience, I skipped a lot of my classes freshman year. I was in big lecture classes, and they didn't take attendance, as Emma said, because UConn is such a big campus. So I just missed classes, I missed information, and I thought that since my professors put their um, like their slideshow, slideshow presentations online, I thought that that meant that I could just read off all the slides and I would know the information, but you're actually missing out on some really quality information that they don't put on the slide. And then also for me personally, I take a lot of smaller classes if I can, because that way for me, I'm being held accountable for the classes that I go to because you get to know the teacher, you're in a small environment, they know if you're missing, and that's been really helpful for me. My second piece of advice is save your money. Um, I'm super, super guilty of wanting to go get food all the time um, that's not in the dining hall, so we have a Moe's right next to our dorm, and then I have a Blaze pizza that's like a, a two minute walk away. And I love pizza, I love Moe's, and I'm so tempted a lot of the time to go buy food instead of getting food from our dining halls. And Yukon is super awesome because everyone who gets a meal plan, it's unlimited swipes. Um, and that's the only kind of meal plan you do get. So since you have that opportunity, it's 100% useful to just go to the dining hall. And even if you don't like what they're serving, have a piece of toast, have some cereal, make yourself a sandwich. Like there's always a bunch of different options for you rather than going out and spending your money. And then of course, I'm also super bad because I have a Starbucks addiction, also a Dunkin' Donuts addiction, and I used to get them like three times a week because we have a Dunkin' right in the middle of campus and it was super convenient. I would get one every morning before like my classes and it wastes so much money and you don't even realize it because it's like two or three bucks every day, but if you really add that up, it's like, hold on, let's do the math. So I'm in school for September, October, November, December, and then I'm going to skip January because of vacation, February, March, April, pretty much, right? So what is that? For seven months. I'm, at, I'm in school seven months, and then we'll do times, we'll average like 30 days a year, I mean 30 days a month, so that's 210 days, and then let's just say that I got Duncan um, a third of those days, so that's 70 days times I get a drink that's like 250 so I spent $175 on just coffee, like, and that's Duncan coffee, so that's pretty cheap coffee. Um, and that money could have gone towards things like traveling, things like vacations, like with friends. If you want to take a road trip, it goes towards gas money. There's so many other things that I think you should spend your money on rather than like small things like food and coffee. And I'm not saying don't, I'm just saying maybe say, okay, I get coffee three times a week, maybe I should just get it once a week. My third piece of advice is to get everything medical you might ever need possible, except for like casts. Because I remember when I first got here my freshman year, I just had like Advil and Tylenol and Band-Aids, I think was the only thing that I had. And so when I got sick, I didn't have any cold medicine, no like DayQuil, no NyQuil, no um, tissues even. And it's actually surprising how important those things are and you don't realize until you're sick. 
like I always took it for granted being at home and I could just walk into the bathroom and they would just be um, a bunch of different like decongestants, decongestants and um, cold medicines. Whereas for me, I had to walk and I didn't have to walk very far, which was super nice, but um, I did have to go to the CVS and get um, all of the medications that I needed, which is kind of frustrating when you feel like your head is going to explode from sinus pressure. And I'm sure as Emma can tell you, not all CVSs or like pharmacies are super close to where your school is. Um, if you, if I, for instance, lived all the way across campus, I'd probably have to take a bus to get there. So I think it's always important just to have anything you might possibly think you need um, because it's a real drag when you get sick and then suddenly you're like, wow, I have to go out and get all this stuff. And luckily for me, I also had a super nice roommate who helped me out. But the other thing that I would just say is try not to get sick, uh, eat your fruits and veggies, you know, get some backup like the um, emergency packets, like emergency, like the letter C, I don't know, like, does everyone know that that is? It's just like, um, I think it helps your immune health and you just like pour it in a drink. I would just suggest getting a bunch of those um, and then drink a crap ton of water. Like seriously, keep your body healthy. My fourth piece of advice is to invest in a skincare routine rather than in makeup. I mean, I do both. I love doing makeup and I do it a lot. But as far as on a day-to-day -day basis, I have a lot of early classes, so I don't like getting up and doing a full face of makeup every single morning. It's super time consuming. And frankly, I'd rather sleep for those like 30 minutes that it takes me to do everything. Um, so I like to invest in a good skincare routine, make sure I wash my face all the time, use good clean products, um, and never forget to moisturize just to keep kind of the acne down. I know personally, since I get up early every morning, I don't want to put on makeup and it's just easier for me to deal with like one pimple um, rather than doing a full like makeup foundation concealer routine. My fifth piece of advice is to set up, an, I'm gonna call it an email tag, I don't know if that's actually what it's called, but if you notice a lot of professionals have a little like box at the bottom of their email that says their name and like their profession and their position and I think that's really important to have as a college student. Mine just says Julia Little, UConn 2021 Psychology and it's just super helpful because when you email your professors, especially professors that you don't know very well, it's important that they know who you are. Um, and that just gives them a little bit of background about like how old you are, what class you're in. Um, and then it's just helpful as well because at some point in your life, you're probably gonna have one, um, depending on where you work, depending on what kind of jobs you have. It's just important to learn like the formalities of email. And then my sixth piece of advice and my last piece of advice is you don't need half the clothes you are going to bring. When I first showed up, I had dresses and skirts and fancy shirts and a million and a half pairs of shoes because I personally love shoes. And I really thought I was gonna wear them all because um, if you knew me in high school, I used to dress up a lot. I really liked like looking formal, looking nice, but it's just so hard at college, honestly. Um, so basically my freshman year, I wore my Converse I wore jeans and I wore a t-shirt and it was just the simplest outfit ever um, but that was kind of like my uniform. Um, I know that there are kids who only wear sweatpants. Of course if you're in the business school it's a little different because I think you have to dress up for like certain events certain days um, and then I do keep a pair of nice clothes here for like internships and interviews but other than that you really don't need as much as you think you're gonna need. Um, I went from two duffels last uh, my first year here to just bring one duffel this year and it's actually been super helpful anyway that concludes this video uh, thank you for watching make sure to like and subscribe and leave any questions or comments down below um, go make sure to go check out Emma's video for Monday and check out Liz's video on Friday and we post three times a week every week thanks for watching bye guys